trouble is brewing here in Moy University, Eldoret. It is only three days before over 4,000 students celebrate their academic achievements during the 32nd graduation ceremony. Hakuna graduation, kama hakuna vice chancellor, anaitwa kuhusike, wakwende huko. The disquiet is all due to a recent change in the chain of command at the university. The acting vice chancellor, Laban Ayiro, was due to be confirmed as a substantive vice chancellor, but the area leadership and the section of the university would have none of that. We are only telling the minister, perform your duties. Release the appointment letter of one Professor Isaac Osge. Yes. Huyu Koske atukumsaidia kufanya interview. Alifanya interview yake mwenyewe akapatikana akiwa namba moja. Ni lazima tutetee watu wetu. Watu wetu vungwa mguu na mkono, alafu anasema, "Eh, mfuate nyayo. Nyayo ya kazi gani?" It's the kind of situation that validates NCIC's report stating that universities in Kenya have become ethnic bastions. The sense of entitlement further exacerbated by the fact that universities are located in geographical areas dominated by specific ethnic communities. It is abhorrent. It is shameful. It is stunning. The big five ethnic groups in Kenya evidently dominate the workforces of the centers of higher education. The report indicates that in Masinde Moliro University, only 7% are not from the local ethnic group. In Moi University, 10% are non-local. In Egerton University, 13% are not from the local community. In Jomo Kenyatta University, 14% are not from the ethnic group that dominates its location. The situation is no different at the two city-based universities, Nairobi and Kenyatta, where one ethnic community dominates up to 82% of the university's positions. The NCIC report proposed an overhaul that would see equitable distribution of positions and properties in public universities, but for four years there has been no movement. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen Business Centre.